Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, starting from now, I'll be uploading series of videos for natural language processing. I'll be starting with uh, pre-processing, right? So, pre-processing involves uh, manipulation of the text data and eventually converting it to in the form of numbers, right? So, what all pre-processing steps are there? So, first thing is, of course, the tokenization, right? tokenization and then uh, we will have stemming and lemmatization. I will talk about each and everything in detail. Stemming and lemmatization. Once we are done with this, we will need to remove stop words. All right. Uh, then we will uh, go through converting the text to numbers. Converting text to numbers. So, guys, why this step is required? Why it is required? Because our ML and DL algorithms doesn't understand the words the is play played. So, it doesn't understand what these represent. So, we need to find a way to convert all these words into some kind of numbers which can be interpreted by the algorithm and provide us the result that is required by us, right? So, in order to do this, there are uh, multiple ways. One is BOW, this is called as bag of words, bag of words. And there is another thing which is an implement on top of BOW called as PF, IDF. So, this stands for term frequency inverse document frequency right inverse document frequency so it's the product of term frequency and inverse document frequency i will talk about everything in detail so once we understand tfidf we will talk about word vectors and very known very famous and known algorithm called as word to vec right i'll talk about this in detail so, how it is implemented and how we are converting the words into vectors of 100 dimension, 300 dimension as per our needs, right? So, this is basically a simple two-layer neural network, two-layer neural network. With the help of back propagation, we will update the weights uh, while predicting the required words for the context. So, there are two things within word back also. One is called as CBOW implementation and other is called skip grams. Skip gram, right? So in CBOW, CBOW stands for continuous bag of words. In this, we will provide the context and ask our algorithm to predict the target word. In skip grams, it's kind of giving the target and asking the algorithm to predict the context surrounding it. So this is how word to vec is trained and in the end, we will obtain something called as embedding matrix. Embedding matrix. So, you might have heard about a famous example. So, man is to king, woman is to queen, right? Woman is to queen. So, we will see how we can come to this particular association within the words with the help of word to vec algorithm, right? So, once we cover this, there is a, another slightly uh, improved version or you can say the simplified version on word to vec called as average word to vec. So, I will also talk about this and how we can use this to implement. And uh, once I cover this, I will uh, make use of TF ideas and word vectors using word to vec embeddings, I will implement some of the basic algorithms like spam calculation, spam classification, sorry not calculation, it is spam classification, right. Uh, okay, we, we, we can check one uh, implementation on this and also there is a, I uh, will check in Google if I get something related to classification with two different targets, uh, that is uh, class 1 and class 2 
we'll see uh, if we if i get to get hold of multi class classification i'll uh, try to implement that once uh, we are done with this i will need to talk about uh, something called as lstm stand for long short term memory rnns recurrent neural networks bidirectional lstms right so after this i will be talking about encoder and decoder model encoder decoder right and then we'll be talking about sequence to sequence right then i will talk about attention models attention models and then i'll talk about transformers right and then i'll also talk about the bird architecture right so once we have all these things uh we have a solid foundation built in order to get started with gen ai the hot topic in present day right so i'll also talk about this and i will cover each and every topic in depth uh, with mathematical intuition uh, there is a mistake in the numbering so please ignore that uh, forgive me for that so these are the things that we will be covering uh, please stay tuned i will be uploading the video soon thanks one and all if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe i will be coming up with many quality contents also press the bell notification icon stay tuned bye bye